All right, welcome back. So uh, people look on in amazement all the time when they see my pro angler up on the roof of my truck. So I keep telling them, hey, it's all in the technique. It's really not that hard to get up there. So I'm going to show you how to get up there, get it up there, and uh, we'll just walk through it kind of step by step. So the first thing to notice is I've got the Hobie Cradles, uh, and they make this process a whole lot easier, and they make hauling this thing a whole lot more secure. Uh, the one thing it does require, really, though, is you need some kind of T-channel. Uh, and some T-bolts to mount it. So, um, also, mine's, I've been using these for about three and a half years. I've got a crack right there. It's been cracked for over two years. That crack hasn't grown and it hasn't really affected the ability of these things to haul a kayak. So, I'm not all that worried about it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get it done. All right, so the first thing to notice, I've got the kayak position here. I've still got it on its wheels. And uh, I'm at an angle to the back of the truck. <clears throat> so, I've got the I'm at an angle to the back of the truck. I've got the stern where I want it to be lined up with the cradles, and I've got the bow kicked off to one side. So essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lift the bow, I'm going to set the bow up there into that rear cradle and center it up. Then I'm going to remove the wheels so that basically the kayak will be sitting on the bow in the cradle and sitting on the stern on the ground. So at this point, really all I've got to do is lift half the kayak to, uh, to get it on the roof. All right, so the kayak's up on the on the uh, the bow here, and it's sitting on the stern. Wheels are off the ground, so we just go ahead and remove the wheels. Get the wheels out of the way. And now all I'm going to do is lift the back of the kayak and slide the whole thing in. The only the only uh, complication is I'll have to lift it a little bit so the Burley Pro transducer mount clears the notch right here. That's all there is to it. So from here, I've got the uh, I've got the cradles keeping it from moving left and right. I can just strap it down to the roof rack like you normally would. Once over, loop it under the under the uh, bar, back around, and these uh, these cradles keep it from moving left and right. Then I'll go ahead and wrap the the uh, strap through here just to make it more secure. Since I'm using the uh, canoe locks with the steel cable just for that prevention, I'll put it through here so they can't just slide the slide the strap off the end there. That's really all there is to it. Um, unloading it is just the reverse of loading it. Uh, I don't usually put the wheels on it uh, when I'm unloading until after I've already got it just laying flat on the ground. So uh, to get it off, to get the thing off, I'll actually stand with my back here and just lift and pull it out. Um, this initial part, getting it off, sometimes helps to have, helps to have a, a friend help you or if you can get into the bed of the truck, or uh, if you've got a step, it'll make it a little bit easier. Uh, with a step on the old, on my old truck, I can actually just grab the handle here and just pull it straight off the back. But uh, getting the thing up here is a piece of cake. All right, so that's the long and the short of how to get the pro angler up on the roof. Uh, it's all, except it's all about technique. Uh, if you're doing it right, you're never lifting more than half the kayak at a time, and uh, and it's really really manageable. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up share it. And uh, until next time, cheers and tight lines.